goodness me, you don't know what I have in store for you guys. I have so much good stuff from H&M and I haven't been this excited for a long, long time. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you everything that I got and I'm sure there's something in there that you are going to love. So let's get straight into it. Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm actually really excited about because I've done a huge H&M haul. All for autumn items, but judging from the weather from the last two weeks, it's been quite warm. So I've not got to wear any of them at the moment, but I'm hoping that the weather is going to get a little bit chilly and I can wear my outfits. <laughs> well, that's the whole aim. Anyway, before I do start, I want to say thank you so much for watching. And also, if you subscribe and press the bell notification, you'd be notified of my new videos. And it means so much to me if you do subscribe, because I realize that a lot of people that do watch haven't subscribed. So if you can, please do me a favor and subscribe. Now, let's get into the video. First, these trousers, oh my goodness. I'm gonna put a little video here of me wearing it. I love them. These are retailed over 140 pounds around that much, but I'm gonna make sure I link everything in the description box. But they feel so luxurious. I mean, for the price, I expect it to. And for H&M quality, I wasn't expecting it at all. So the actual pockets, the lining inside is like really silky and it feels really nice. And they're pretty deep, so I'm happy with that. I love the little pleats that are going along the front and it really does help cover any like pouchy situations you've got going on. But these are incredible, so soft. The color of these trousers is like a light gray and then they are quite long. My height for reference, I'm 5'5", five five, and they do come up a little bit long, but once you put heels on them, it's fine. It does scrape along the floor slightly, but you could always get that adjusted. I actually think it looks really classy having it long. As long as it doesn't drape across the floor, then you're absolutely fine. But once you put heels on, it's, it's good to go. The only thing I couldn't do is wear these big flats because yeah, then you'll be picking up all the dirt around London. So I paired it up today with a Skims top. This is just, so it looks a little bit sophisticated, a bit classy. Um, I'm going out this evening, so this looks a little bit more slightly dressed up. So next up is this beautiful jumper. It's slightly oversized, but that was the whole intention. So I got a size, I think I got it in a size small. I got it in a size small, but it comes up really baggy. Um, and V-neck for me, I think it suits me a lot more better, but if you wanted something a little bit more round neck, absolutely fine with to pair up with these trousers. And this is a blend of mohair and wool blend. I'm gonna show you a little bit of a close up. How pretty is that? And again, the color of this is like a cream with a slight tinge of gray to it. And I thought this would look perfect with this trousers. So I'm just going to put it on here. Let me take this off. So I think the combination of the jumper and the trousers go so well together. I like the whole muted blended look well, that you've got the same colors going on but slightly different shades i think it just makes the outfit look a little bit more expensive and classy but overall i rate this outfit 10 out of 10. you can get away with wearing this on any occasion i love how understated this outfit is you don't really have to accessorize too much i put a nice little necklace on i've got my van cleef on but i was thinking more of a like a round um, a chain, small little chain in gold. And that's it. Earrings for me, it's like you most of the time you can't see because my hair's covered with it. And for the pair of shoes to go with these. So finally I can wear these. I was struggling so much because I just couldn't find anything to pair this up with. But finally I'm managing to wear my favorite shoes from H&M. These are from last year, but oh my goodness. You know when you buy shoes and you have to break into them? Absolutely not. You don't even have to break into these. These are, wear them straight away and you can wear them for hours and hours. This is in a size eight and they're made out of suede. So you can imagine how soft the, the material is. And I think it goes, oh, it goes so well with this color. Excuse my toes, I haven't done them. But do you see what I mean when I say 
once you wear your shoes with a slight heel this isn't too much of a high heel but it really helps with the flow of the trousers when you've got a little bit of a heel on if I show you without the heel it really does touch the ground I've been on a hunt for some leather trousers and I haven't really invested in genuine leather probably because I thought it was too expensive and I wouldn't wear them but for the last couple of years, I really have. So I thought, let me invest in some good quality leather trousers that I will have for a long time. So these are size 10 and it was 259 pounds. Just basic leather trousers with two pockets at the back, pockets at the front, and it's got a little seam halfway down the leg. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, halfway down the leg. And as you can tell, the leather is not shiny. And that's what I wanted. So I got these trousers to be paired up with this gorgeous jumper. I just feel like the, the feel of the jumper, the thickness of the jumper is just so nice. And I think a lot of the trend for this um, autumn winter is that mohair, that fluffy looking material. So this is, yeah, mohair um, with wool blend. And I got a size small. I think I should have gone for a one size up only because I wanted that slouchy look. And this is retailed at £54. And I think you could get away with wearing like a short little skirt with this as well, some knee-high boots. It's so versatile and so in. Every time stripy jumpers come out every year, I tend to get one because last time I got one from Zara and I ruined it in the wash. But sometimes I'm like, am I supposed to wash it in dark wash or light wash? So <laughs> this time I'm just, I'm just gonna either dry clean or hand wash forget the washing machine. Um, so I'm gonna try this on with the black leather trousers and I'll be back in a moment. Oh, I just think this outfit looks so cute with the leather trousers. I'm gonna show you again what this looks like. So again, I'm not a huge fan of round neck. I love how the thickness of the band around the neck sits. But if I felt, I felt like if I got a larger size, it's, it will be a little bit more further down on the neck. So the length of the arms are like this. And that's what the trousers look like. I think they look really cool. Great length. So this is how I intended to wear this outfit. So just plain jumper and your leather trousers and a slight heel. And I feel like this outfit still looks quite dressy on its own. I don't feel like you have to do anything to make it stand out. I think it looks quite simple put together. I still feel like even if you wanted to replace your heels for flats, it still look really put together. This is another one of my favorite and I think I probably wear this countless amount of times. I love the fact how the trousers, I love the length of these trousers. I feel like sometimes that could be quite difficult because either they can be a little bit too close to the ankle or too long. This is just perfectly perfect. I love how it doesn't show any neck. That's the whole purpose of a polo neck. I don't like polo necks that sit halfway down your neck don't really get them and they're not that flattering either. So this is just right. Yeah, I just love the length of the jumper and I love this little, little touch of the slit on the side and on the arms. I just think it gives your standard polo neck that edge and again, perfect for shopping in, going out in and you still look put together. That's the whole purpose of these outfits and they're so versatile. You could wear them with skirts, jeans and keep revolving your jumpers. I guess with the other jumper I got, it's a different finish and it's a different look. This is a lot more casual. I think the other mohair one can look a little bit dressy, but dressy in a nice way, not over the top. A super, super comfortable jumper. And this is about 54 pounds, I think. I just feel like stripy jumpers don't ever go out of fashion. So they're always gonna be in year after year. So invest in something a little bit more expensive, good quality, and you're good to go. And wash them in the right manner. So that <laughs> so that they don't lose their shape and they still look brand new. I'm gonna move on to the next stripy thing I've got. I think stripy is probably a theme this season, um, but I'm all for it. Last but not least, this beautiful cardigan. It's got these gorgeous gold buttons. I'm loving at the moment. And this look is everywhere from Massimo. I've got a lot of this in, but the prices are a lot more expensive. This is quite reasonable. I think there's about 47 or 48. And again, it's like a jacket, but a cardigan, but it's thicker than the uh, actual cardigan itself. And it's got that thick, like finish to it. And I love how it sits just above the hips and the length of the arm is always 
good when it's a little bit longer. I still feel like it makes the outfit look that little bit put together. And again, you could pair this up with a skirt. You could have this closed as well, or you could have this left open. And again, I've paired it up with the leather trousers because I'll be wearing this. So I've got three more items that I want to show you, but this is probably another one of my favorites. I actually did a really good shop. It was all intentional. All think about what your items are gonna go with and how much where you actually get out of them and how versatile those item and pieces are. The last thing I want to do is just clutter my wardrobe with the just items that are just in season. So I feel like this is quite classic. Um, it's another alternative to a blazer. And also I did pick this up in a cream color, but the cream is just isn't flattering in terms of the material because it's cream holds on to all of your body fat and I was like there's no way I could try that on because it just doesn't look right I mean if you're like a smaller built then definitely cream looks nice but I think black covers a lot it actually looks really really nice I'm actually really impressed I'm going to show you the cream anyway but I won't try it on so this is the dressing cream I feel like because it's such a light color, it doesn't give you any grace at all. The black is probably better. Um, if I just put my finger through it, do you see how you could just see the outline on my fingers? And that's what it actually does to your body. It just shows you everything. I wanted to show you this gorgeous, gorgeous camel color coat. It's pure wool. And look at the length. I love the length. I'm loving everything really long because it just looks so much more... I know, different, I think, from what they've had in the last few years. Um, this is giving me Max Mara vibes, and I actually really love it. I think, okay, I need to find out how much this was, because this is another one of my keepers. Right, so the rib dress was $32.99, and I got a size small. You have to size um, down on it, because it's quite stretchy. Um, the jumper oversized mohair is $84.99, and I got a size small. Um, this felted wool coat is $189.99 in dark beige and it's um and the straight leather trousers $259 in a size 10. And again, I'll link all the um the codes down so it's easy for you to find. The trousers were $129 and they were a wide wool blended trousers, and it's the colour grey. <laughs> That's actually a really good name. Um yeah, so what else did I get? Yeah, I got a polo neck, but it wasn't worth showing because it was quite see-through. But how gorgeous is this? And I feel like sometimes most of the coats just stop here, the front panelling. But this has gone um, all the way down and it just gives you a different kind of look. I don't know if I would... Actually, I wouldn't even mind having that tied up. I could just see this going so well with my little lady deal bag. Thank you so much for watching. I know I've kind of just skimmed through all of it, but I feel like sometimes I feel like when you're watching YouTube videos, you know, you don't want someone talking forever. And I feel like if you want me to go in depth with the outfits, then I can. But for me personally, I like watching, I like watching fashion content that you kind of just skim through, get an idea of what the, the clothes look like on, just on an average body. And if you have enjoyed my videos, please, please, please do leave a comment below and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you again. And if you want to join me on Instagram or TikTok, then come and say hi. So I'll see you again next week. Bye.